Hi everybody, this is Leia and I hope you're all doing well. We're back for another round of daily reading videos and for the week of September 8th through the 14th, our cards are the Gothic Tarot of Vampires and the Flower Therapy Oracle deck. We've used neither one of these in any of our daily, weekly, or monthly readings, so this is a special treat if you've been looking for new energies in our daily reading videos. The Vampire deck is very much focused on shadow work, so get ready to come face to face in our messages for the week with some aspects of yourself that could very much use some love and light. The cards were shuffled and picked from random spots in their decks prior to filming with the intention that all who feel drawn to these videos get a helpful and uplifting message from them. Okay, whenever you're ready, let's see what Spirit's message for the day is. Hi again, and welcome to our reading for September 8th, Monday. These are our cards for the day. One of Swords, and Emotional Healing, Bleeding Heart. It is safe for you to let go of old emotional pain. By doing so, you allow your heart to mend. In traditional tarot, the Ace of Swords is about new beginnings that may be getting off to a challenging start. While that is a possible meaning that may apply to some of us watching this, I feel that, on a larger scale, what we are being guided to do in relation to this card is to be mindful of the ways we could be making life even more challenging for ourselves and unnecessarily, too, at that. Combined with the Emotional Healing card, it appears to me that it's time for us to examine the ways in which we are wounded and are actually crying out for help by sabotaging ourselves somehow. In some cases, we may be painting a poor me picture where we want others, or at least someone, whose love we crave to see the challenges we are up against, and this acts as a test. The other person passes that test by our ego or wounded self's standards if they give us a lot of attention or even offer to lighten our load somehow. When we begin feeling this way, though, perhaps a healthier approach would be to take care of our own needs so we don't have to seek love from someone else in order to fill any holes we may have in our hearts. As the card says, our attention is being directed to healing ourselves, and that is our own responsibility, not something that depends on how much attention other people give us. Thank you so much for joining me. That concludes another daily reading. If you enjoyed it, you can get your own in the link in the description box. And by all means, share this video with anyone else you know will benefit. Until next time, I'll speak with you again soon. Namaste.